Welcome to a new video from Excel Data Analysis Series PQB or Power Query Basics. This video PQB 15, we are going to see how we can create a dynamic filter using Power Query. This filter will take the input from the Excel sheet and send it to the Power Query. Then the Power Query are going to filter the data in the background and send it back to Excel. In our practical example today, we are going to start with the data coming from AAA Workshop representing the sales for Q2 and this data is in around 17,000 rows and we want to have an output sheet like this this out output sheet containing a subset of the data actually filtered based on these two values first value is the date value and then a category value and we have a refresh button when we change the selection from the drop down and change the date we can write the, the date and then we click on refresh the subset is changed based on our selection and also the summary here changing based on the refresh and the selection and all this using power query while working on this example we are going to see a lot of things we start with the excel.current workbook function that excel used to send to power query send data to power query and then we are going to see how we can duplicate queries and extract a dynamic unique list from a query and then we are going to see how we can use data validation to create a drop down list to use it in the filter and we'll see how we can convert an excel table to a single value inside power query using a function or functionality called drill down and then we are going to use this single value as an input for the filter so we start with the Excel we convert to table send it to power query and then convert to a single value use the single value in the filter and finally we send it back and automatically when, when we update the data the report will be updated automatically and at the end we create a refresh button and link to a recorded macro when we click on this refresh button all the data all the action going to be refreshed if you want to follow along while watching the video or even if you want to practice after watching the video please go down in the description section you will find the link please use it to download the excel file and also use the subscribe button and the bell icon so you get notified with the new videos so in the Excel sheet, you can see that we have the sales for Q2, as we mentioned at the beginning. So I want to send this directly to Power Query. So let me go to Data Ribbon, and from left-hand side, I have the Get and Transform section. I can just select the button from Table Arrange. Once I click on it, it will trigger the Power Query Editor. On the right-hand side, you can see that the name of the query inherited from the name of the table. So let me change this. I will call it Filtered Report. I have two steps you can see the source and change type i don't need the change type for the moment so let me x out now i have only the source if you go to the formula bar you will see that i have a function called excel.currentworkbook this is the function that excel used to bring the data from the current workbook and you can see it specified the name of the table and the content of the table as well if i want this function to take all the tables in this current workbook i need to delete the rest of the formula so i'll just leave it as excel.current workbook i'm going to select carefully and backspace and then enter you will see that i'll have a list as you can see down here list of all the tables in this workbook i have currently only one table which is sales 2017 q2 but when i copy or send more tables inside this workbook it will be listed down here so i want the query just to deal with the tables that contains or start with the name sales so if i'm going to create any other table inside this workbook start with any other name should not be considered inside this query in order to tell the query to do so i need to do a filter i'm going to select the bottom in the top of the column name here and i'm going to text filter and i'm going to select begins with it will trigger the filter dialog box let me write here sales so i'm telling excel please do not consider any table inside this query except the tables start with the word sales and then i'm going to click on ok nothing will happen but this will help me when when more tables come into this uh, query you will see that i have now two steps the source and then filtered rows now i don't need the column name let me x out 
remove column and then I can expand the content of the table if I select in the empty area here you will see a preview of the table down here I want to expand this and bring it inside the query itself so I'm going to select this double arrow here and I'm going to uncheck use original column as prefix and I'm going to select all the columns click on OK now you have all the data I want to fix the data types so I'm going to transform detect data type once I click on it it will automatically try to detect the type of the data for each column I want to change the date and time to only date so I'm going to do so and replace current also I can change sales value to decimal 1.2 instead of 1 to 3 replace current now my data table is ready as I told you this query will be the output of the filter so I want to do some filtration here the ultimate objective is to bring an input from the Excel sheet itself and give it to this query as an input for the filter but for the time being let me just do a filter I'm going to start with a filter on the date so I'm going to do a normal filter using this arrow on top of the column I'm going to select any date just any date I want just to create any filter so let me select 1st of April as a filter for the date and then let me do, do so in the category itself so I'm going to select the arrow on top of this column and let me select any category let's say bikes and click on ok you will see that I have now only 39 rows instead of the 17,000 rows as indicated here six column with 39 rows and it is filtered as you can see on the 1st of April only one day and the category is bikes now this query is ready for the time being I can just close and load go to home close and load close and load to from import data let me select table and existing worksheet let me select output on the top left I'm going to select A1 and click on OK the queries and connection pane will be opened and the 39 rows query will be loaded you can view it here in the output tab as you can see now I want to have a place that I can put my inputs in and then I can send it directly to power query so let me come here in this area and I'm going to create a small table with only one header and one row so let me start with date as a header and let me put any input date let's take the same date which is 1st of April 17 and enter here is the date and then I need another input for category so let me create another small table with one row and one header I'll call the, the first header category and let me also select the same category which is bikes so I'm going to send these two pieces of info to power query in order to do this we mentioned before that it's better to convert it to table type so I'm going to select any cell inside the first table and click on control T or press on control T my table has headers and OK from table design on the left hand side let me give it a name like date input the other one I'll do the same table design on the left hand side let me call it category input now I have these two tables I can send them directly to power query let me start with the first one while selecting any cell inside this table I can just go to data on the left hand side from this icon I can just click on it it will trigger the power query again name inherited from the name of the table which is fine I leave it date underscore input and then I have two steps the source and the change type source is fine no problem change type it converted the, the data to date and time I need it only date so let me change to only date what I want to do now is to convert the value that I have here into a single value or convert the entire query which is only one row and only one column to a single value and this value should be the 1st of April 2017 in order to do this I can just right click here and select drill down you'll see that the column header and the row header disappeared and I have only a single value called 1st April 2017 if I can take this value and send it to the other query I have all 
queries here I have the first query is filtered query if I can send this value inside filtered query and use it as an input for the filter it can dynamically change when I change the selection inside the Excel sheet in order to do this I'm just going to copy the date underscore input the name of the query and I'm going to filter query and in the last step the filtered rows that we did the filter together I can just jump to the formula bar and I'll see that I have a formula called table.select rows this is the formula that Power Query used to filter the table and you can see the parameter date here here is the date representing the date column the criteria is equal this function date 2017 4 and 01 and it is a function represent the static filter that I did uh, manually in this query I can just replace all this with the name of the other query date underscore input which give me a single value and then press enter here I'm ready I need to load the query that I just did the new query date dot input I need to load it back so I can just go to home and close and load close and load to from import data I can just click on only create a connection if I change the date now let me try to change the date so instead of 1st of April let me select 1st of May and enter nothing will happen because I need to refresh I can just select any cell inside the output table right click and refresh you can see here the filter changed the data changed the background filter worked and give me the new input still bikes but I have the new date 1st of May I need to do the same in the bikes I'm going to select any cell inside this table and let me use the keyboard shortcut alt a p t on the right hand side category input is the name of the query coming from the name of the table I have the two steps source and change type change type actually is not very important for me let me take it out I need to do the same right click and drill down let me copy the name of the query control C and go back to filtered report and again jump to the formula bar this time category equals bikes I need to change this static selection to this dynamic selection category dot input and then press on enter now I can load the new query category dot input let me go back to home close and load close and load to only create a connection and okay now I can change the selection from here but the problem that I don't know exactly the names of the categories or I don't know how to write the category name so I need something to help me take the input from the query itself and help me how to select typically I need to do a drop down menu using validation but I need at the beginning to create a list or a unique list of all the possible categories coming from the original data inside the query so how can I do this I can just take a copy from filtered report just right click and duplicate once I click on duplicate it will trigger again the power query editor and it will create identical copy of the query if you open on the left hand side you'll see that I have filtered report and filtered report 2 it is identical copy of the first query but I need to do some changes inside this query I have the source I have no issue with the source you can see that I have more table came here so that's why it was very important to, to do the filter step now I have only the table with the data of the sales and then remove column this is fine okay with me then I need to do some changes inside the expand content after expand content I need to delete I can just select the change type afterwards and right click and I can select delete until end and let me do some changes I can just select the wheel on the right hand side of the name of the step and in order to create a unique list from categories I don't need all this selections I need only the category item or the category field and click on ok let me change type to text quickly quickly from here text and then I need to remove the duplicates so I can get a unique list of this category column from home and from remove rows I can just select remove duplicates I have only the four categories I can go to close close and load to from input data dialog box I can select existing worksheet table for sure and then go to resources on the top left a1 and click on ok a new query will be created filtered report 2 this is a very bad name I need to change 
so let me right click and I can just do renaming from here let me call it category underscore list and enter and also because I'm going to write the dates here I need something to help me to understand where is the beginning date and where is the end date where is the start and end date so I can select the right date so I can do something similar to the category list query let me have another duplicate from this query right click and duplicate it will trigger again the power query editor now I can change the name of this query let me call it start underscore date and enter I don't need the remove duplicate let me take it out change type also not important for me let me take it out expanded data I can again change the settings for this step and instead of selecting category I'm going to select date and OK remember that this is a copy of the query so category list still as is this is a copy of the category list I just change some steps and I have now a list of all dates let me change type this time I'm going to select date and instead of remove duplicate as I did in the category list query let me do something different I'm going to transform and to date let me select earliest so only one value will appear here which is the first April 17 so this is the first date I have the start date I have inside my data or inside the table I send at the beginning to Power Query so this is very good I can just load this but instead of loading this directly let me do another copy right click and duplicate I can do duplication from here and let me change the name of this query right click and rename I'm going to call it end underscore date and enter now I have a duplicate I want to change the start date to the end date if you look at the formula bar you will see that power query used the function called list.min if I change min to max it will give me the last date so I'm going to write max manually and enter you will see that the date now is 30 June instead of 1st of April which is the last date of Q Two. now I'm ready I can just load these two new queries close and load close and load two in the import data dialog box I don't have the option of existing worksheet so let me only create a connection at the beginning and click on ok you'll see that I have the two queries here let me go to the first one right click and load two this time I can load it to table and existing worksheet c1 and ok We'll do the same for end date. Now I have the start date and the end date. Let me go again to the output and let me do the validations in these two cells. First one, I'll start with the date. I can just go directly to data. And from data, I have data tools, then validation. This will be a date. So let me select date and date between. I have the start date in the resources sheet. So here is the start date and then I need to put the end date I have here the end date that's fine I can just click on OK now I cannot select anything outside this range of dates so let me select 2016 it will refuse so I'm good to go let me do something similar in category but what I want to do I want to typically create a drop down menu that is referring to this list of categories in order to do this let me start to reference at the beginning this list so I'm going to write equal I know that I have a table called category list so whenever I write category I have the two tables I start with category my one is category list tab I have only one column in this table which is category let me select and tab close the square bracket and enter because I'm working in office 365 you'll see that the entire list spilled here I just do it because I need the address or the reference here so let me uh, control X and enter and let me select the cell let me go to data again and from data tools data validation this time I'm going to select list and here is the source of the list Control V the equation that I did or the reference that I did and let me try to click on OK Oops, it will give you an error. Why? Because if you try to reference directly 
um, a column of a table inside the data validation it will not accept you have to do a small trick you have to wrap it with an indirect function so I'm going to write in direct open bracket and double quote and then double quote at the end and close bracket why double quotes because indirect need to have text so I'm going to change this address into a text then indirect automatically will change to the correct reference when I click on OK the drop down is created as you can see here I can select from this drop down and this drop down is dynamic if my input include another category it will appear automatically here once I refresh my data so now I have my validation is OK and I can change my selection let me select accessories and let me again change the selection here let's try 1st of June right click refresh here you go everything is okay and updated let me add a small summary down here I need the total revenue so let me write a small sum function sum and then tab now I need to bring the data from this table I know the name of the table you can see it here in the in the in the list of the queries filtered so I'm going to write fil it will give you an option for the table it's like a table icon here you can just double click and then I need the column called sales value I can just select with the arrows and tap close the square bracket and close the sum bracket and enter here is the total of this table if you need to know more about the structure difference what we did now called the structure difference when you refer to a table or do a formula inside a table if you want to know more about the structure difference please review the video that we did about one year ago about the structured reference and you'll see the link on the top of the screen right now let me do the same for the quantity and the average price is basically the revenue over the quantity quick number formatting and we are good to go now last step let's add the refresh button so at the beginning let me record a macro in order to record a macro I'm going to the developer tab on the left hand side in the code area let me click on record macro it will open this small dialog box let's give a name for the macro I'll call it refresh I'm not going to give it a shortcut no need for this and I'm going to save it to this workbook click on ok now you can start to record your macro only one action I'm going to data ribbon and I'm going to select refresh all now you can go again to the developer ribbon and stop your recording now your macro is ready let's add the button from developer ribbon as well I can go to insert to controls area and insert I can select my button let me put it in this area and let's assign a macro to this button the only macro that we have is refresh let me just click on ok and I have here the name the automatic name button 3 I can just rename it let me call it refresh now I can just right click to format control I can just select something like Arial black it is a bigger font and also I can select bigger font size click on ok now you have your button ready let's do another quick trial bikes another date let me select 15th of June and refresh your filters is working you have bikes and 15th of June and for sure your refresh button is working and the summary also automatically updated the last thing is let's try to add more data to Q2 I have another file containing some data so I have here as you can see the sales for Q3 and Q4 I'm going to send this to uh, tables or these two sheets to the other file the working file that are, are working together on now we have the three quarters q2 q3 and q4 inside the same table if you look at your resources you have the start date is 1st of april and the end date is 30 june if we add up to quarter four if we do a refresh now you will see that this date will be updated as well so let, let me go to the output sheet and use my refresh button I'm going to click on refresh all the queries will be refreshed if we check the resources again you'll see that the last date is 31st of December let me copy this go again to output let me select this date I'm not going to change the bike selection refresh look at your table now you have the latest date and the latest information 31st of 
31st of December 2017 and for sure your summary correctly updated I think it's very useful to filter a large amount of data inside a small table and have your summary and you have your controls you can just select whatever you want and one click you will see your data updated that was all for today thank you very much for your time and don't forget if you didn't subscribe yet to the channel please do like the video if you like it and leave me a comment and thank you very much and see you in next video and bye